Greetings everyone, it's Devon here. Welcome back to another Pokemon Duel video. Today we're gonna be playing in the Ruby Hall and I'm using this deck currently. And the thing about this deck that is really, really interesting is the Wing Spear Gyarados combo. It's really, really strong. If you manage to get a, if you manage to hop over a figure and then actually land a Swarm, they can actually potentially get really good pressure on the enemy if you can actually Storm two figures to the bench. I think I pulled it off a couple times and I think it really helps in the current meta because people are running Swablu's all over the place and Swablu has a, have only only their dodge to protect against Gyarados' Storm. Sorry about that. <laughs> Gyarados' Storm. So the Common Guard will still get beaten by Storm because it's only a one storm purple move. So it's really strong and people also run stuff. All, also no purple there. And that, that is actually the main reason why I run Zapdos, just simply to counter that Gyarados. Yeah, that's basically it. I could try run Sableye just to get a better matchup, to get that one chain level down, but I don't think that's worth it. I don't think that's worth it. Maybe I have some common cubes. Let me check that. Maybe I have enough to level up another swap. Room. I'm actually going to check that right now because I might have. I might have enough for that. No, I only have two of them. That's not enough. I need nine. All right, so we're just gonna play like two, three, two or mat, two matches, maybe three, depending on how long they actually take. Now, let's see how many points we can get. We're currently at place. We're currently at place eighty. Definitely not enough for top one hundred since it ends in like fourteen hours, maybe something like that. Fourteen hours, probably, probably like fourteen hours. Yeah, thirteen hours and forty minutes. Yeah. Okay, so, let's see. Let me know in the comments, guys, what deck are you running in the Ruby Hall? And also, if you have any other decks for me to try and help in, like, the League, let me know. I'll definitely take a look at them, and I'll actually reply as soon as I can. If I actually, actually have those figures, or I don't have them, so I can try something else. So, I'm interested to see you guys' suggestions, so... I'll be right back once we find a match, so see you guys. So we did find a match, someone is just choosing the right deck, and let's see what we actually face. Of course there's going to be a Swablu deck, but this guy is using Tangela into Tangrove. Random Blaziken and Sylveon. Sylveon kind of makes sense, but I don't really get that Blaziken. I mean, I don't know. It's good in its own. It beats Swablu's. So, and it does good against Gyarados. So maybe. This guy's a 2800. Not underestimating their rank, but... Let's just see. He can still win, actually. I also lost a couple times to, like, 2300s. Just because of crazy RNG, but that was just, of course, in room matches, so that's fine. You know, let that person have the best day of his life, beating a, a 3800 player. I'll, I'll give it to him, man. It's fine. I'll see if we can knock out the swap loop. And I'll just land a straight up miss. There we go. The thing is, you just need to take care of the swap loops early on, but most of the time people will not advance with swap loops, so this might not be the best example. But still, if people do that, just get rid of them as soon as possible. There we go. I'm getting like all the rolls right now. So, I could have also just landed back and he landed around. Then, yeah, I would have been dead. And then he could have advanced toward my auto swap. So it was a bit risky, but then again, I still have four block, I still have stuff so I might be good. Let's just put on the wing sphere, because we're not under pressure or anything so let's just add the wing spear and then I'll guys and then I'll show you guys what's up with this extreme Gyarados hopping over stuff and putting everything back to the bench it's really great you guys should try it out if the Rubio is still going for you you should definitely try it out it's really good I'm trying to match up this this Zapdos with the Blaziken but he's probably gonna put Sylvie in there so I'll just 
just put him right here, that's fine. Because Blaziken cannot reach my Swablu's. If he gets Jet Kick onto my um, onto my Calling Guard, I'll be actually amazed. Let's just say that. But we should be good here. We should be good. Because Blaziken is not Flying type or Normal type, so he will not decrease my damage. So we should be beating him here. Yep, there we go. I will get burned, but that's fine. I'll sl still beat most of the figures with my gold here, so. Not actually afraid. Not afraid. Okay, Tangela is gonna go for an attack. It's gonna get me three weight, I think it does. Construct just gives me one weight. Okay, I thought it was giving me like two or three. Well, just one. But he can give me more weight if he spins a lot of fine. Okay, this is this is on. Do you have gold lock? He does have gold lock, okay. Then I kinda get the play, but oh wow what? Okay, that's the win. Okay, I'll just take that win. Okay, we'll just play some more. We'll just play some more. This was it was really weird. Really, really odd, let's just say it. Okay, let's just hop on the cool with Zapdos and take those 320 points. And then we're gonna actually try to get matched up against someone who's actually closer to my rank to have a better match. I mean, it's fine if the 2800 people have joined my route, but I want a good match. I know some really good plays at the 2800s, and then just free to play, and they're just fine. They're just fine with it. Alright, let's see. Let's join this guy if we can. Oh, we have to re restore our energy. Alright, we'll do it. We'll just do it. Oh, the room is still available. So apparently no one is in this hall right now, or are you already in the match? <clears throat> Probably already is already in top 100. I'm not. Yeah, I'm, currently I am. I am, but I won't be tomorrow morning. That's for sure. I need to be like in the top 50 right now to get top 100 tomorrow, but because the grind is so real with this thing. It's absolutely incredible. I think we need to have like over 600 call points to be able to get a spot in the top 100 by the time the event is over. Let's see what this guy's running. Is he running Evolved Rock? Um, like a rock? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's pretty dope. That is pretty dope. Alright, cool. Let's match him up with um, the Stuffle. I'm not gonna give him the easy evolution against Magikarp. That's like. One of the only exceptions where I don't throw out Magic Up at the first turn. Do I double chance? Yes, I do. I definitely double chance this. He does not run Zoroark, so. He's run Lunala though. But I think we can do fine with the Swap Loops. And Gyarados. Because we get that minus 30. Ooh, do we? Yeah, we do respin, of course. Yeah. That was a bit risky, but. It's still fine. I mean, I had the gold block, I had the... Actually, no, because then I had the gold block stuffle. Ooh, that was actually... That could have been game, because then I had the gold block stuffle, and then I e took my entry point with Rock Rock, and then I couldn't take out another mod. So that was actually really, really risky. I don't know why I actually not thought about that one. But that was really risky. Then I had to attack with stuffle into the pop play when actually knocked out. Is he race quitting? Come on, don't race quit. Okay. X attack. Rockruff trying to get that evolution. I don't think he actually can. To be honest, I don't think he does. Maybe with this. Wow, he actually gets it. But he does get sent to the bench. But he does get the Lycan Rock. Which is now 3 MP, but he still gets the weight. Wait, why did he go wait? I'm not really sure. Wave arms give him weight? Okay, the wave arm gives weight. I thought it was just sending him to the bench. I don't know why, why I'm so confused right now. I should have known that. I've been around for a long time, I should have known that. Damn you, Devani. 
Upgrade your blunt. Upgrade your brain, please. Okay, it's gonna go with the Lycan Rock towards his goal. I'm gonna attack him. He does land roar. That's fine. I can decide where I move. So I'll just move it to the left side. Trying to put me to sleep, but that's fine because I can instantly wake you up. So I don't know why you're attacking him. There is no real point of doing that. To be honest, there is not. There is no point. So let's just wake him up. Maybe that was a bait, though. Maybe that was a bait. I'm not sure. He's just gonna attack me again. Wow. Really, really, man. Really? Is that really what you're gonna do? Alrighty, that's fine. Just go over and wake up again. Let's check the place. Go block max of five, double chance swap spot XP. Okay, we need to be aware of the swap spot cheese. That's that's the only thing I guess. Okay, this this can end very badly. Oh, I do land the dodge. Really lucky on my part there. Wow. Let's put out the 25 times swap loot. That will actually do 70 damage. Probably gonna put that save line to counter that. Oh, you're gonna attack. Okay, this one actually will get knocked out if he lands a 70 against my round. But I just like attack, so that's not gonna do it. Damn it. So I'm actually gonna have to max revive the other swap loop to try to get things to work here, which kinda sucks. Okay, that's actually better now. Let's watch him land something else. No. Alright, I'll just wake you up man. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Otherwise, by the way guys, I'm gonna stream like Tuesday. I don't know if that guy's already told you, but I'm gonna stream Tuesday, so if you wanna be part of the stream, make sure to tap the bell. And turn on, so just turn on the notification so you know when I go live on Tuesday. Probably like five. Probably like four to five PM UTC. Something around that. Okay, that's good. Get him down to ten psychic. He's gonna respin. Wow. Gutsy man. And he gets it. And he gets it. He gets it, man. He gets it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Man. That is absolutely disgusting. Okay, so I do get that wrong. So that is nice. Is he gonna use his gold block on Lunala? I think he will. I think he actually will do that. He does still have cool luck, yeah. So that's probably his, his only best play. I don't see any other options. Yep, exactly. Go block with. Hmm, maybe. Maybe that works. I'm not really sure. But it's definitely interesting, that's for sure. Let's go here. I mean, I still have gold block, so I might be fine. But then again, he's still gonna threaten my goal. X speed, uh oh, uh oh. That's not good. That is not good. That is not good. Can I please let my dodge? Okay, he lands Will O Wisp, which is actually fine. I'm actually taking that. I don't have another max five, do I? No, I don't. Alrighty, let's just go block with um, the swap loot then. I guess I have no other option. Damn it, man. He does actually come out of that situation. Didn't expect him to. Didn't expect him to get out of that situation. Watch the moon guys being happen right now. Watch it happen. There we go. And he's gonna get away. He's gonna get rid of my goalie here. Absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I mean, I do still have Stuffle, 
which can actually bench Lunala. So that might work, but I'm not counting on it. I think this is the end of this uh, this match. Wow, he gets all the rolls with Lunala. It's absolutely incredible. It's crazy. Okay, Stuffle, it's all on you. You need to get this. So he just basically needs to land the Psychic, or else it's basically game. Yes, let's get it, Stuffle. You're the man, Stuffle. You're the absolute man. Stuffle saved my ass so many times. I need to run Stuffle, man. I need to run him more often. He saves my ass every single time. I mean, the only downside is now I have two Swablus being in the PC, which actually absolutely doesn't help me at all. I don't like that at all. So he's not going to attack me right now, but he will do that in a second, I'm sure. There's no point. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I'll take that. Please, and just roll your gold. There we go. That's all I need. That's all I need. Stuffle, Stuffle, coming, take, coming in home. I cannot talk today. Stuffle taking it home. Coming home with that. Sweet, sweet wave arms. Oh, man. I'm going to say this a lot of times, but I need to run Stuffle in one of my league decks. He's so good. Especially for an uncommon. It's really powerful. I don't know even why it is an uncommon figure. It's almost better as beware. His evolution. It's absolutely crazy. Okay, he gets another spore, so that's a bit lucky. But I will still move up with the Swablu. I don't know if I actually can do anything here, but I'll try. I'll try. Ooh, I don't like that a lot. I don't like that. Let's see if we can knock this guy out. Round on water gun, that's all I'm asking for. Nope. Nope, not happening. So he's going to surround my Zappos, which actually isn't that bad at all. Because now I managed to get a Swablu back, which is good. I do like the fact that I'm getting Swablu back, and he realizes that, and he doesn't want it out either. Oh, lucky pack, there we go. So I'm gonna actually wake up my Zappos now, while I have the chance. And now we should be good to go. I don't even get to show off the magic up in the Gyarados with the Wing Fear. Maybe I'll try one more and see if I can make it to work. So let's just move up with Stuffle. <coughs> I'll see if I can get it to work next time. Okay, so he's allowed to attack me right now. What's gonna happen? Stealth it into dodge. Alright, that's fine. You ever heard of him? No, so I can move here safely. I need to be aware of that stealth at 3 MP. So, the attack goes down. I managed to get a calling guard here. Which actually stalls him out for one more turn. I'm not gonna attack here because that might be game. It's really risky. But I can take the surround next time. And then just hope he doesn't let me guys. Actually, no, because then I can still go on. With Swabble on the goal, so. If I survive this, that's game. And I do. I actually knock him. So, good game. Okay, let's play one more game. And then we're gonna end this up. Alrighty. I'm really curious to when they're actually gonna drop the gym. My guess is that it will be in, like... Next next week Thursday maybe that's my guess. Next week Thursday is probably when they're gonna release a gym. So Wednesday is when they're gonna release the um, orbital hall for that gym of figures, if you may. Okay, I'm right now I'm placed 52, which is, which is a lot better. All right, let's try and take another win against this guy. Not assuming gender, by the way. 
Never do that. Wow, this guy is running the exact same deck, but not running Wings here. Mm hmm, it's gonna be interesting. this time. I still remember when they had like Aquamarine Hall where they banned flying type figures. Oh, that was so great. No Swab Boost, no Alteria, and no Cell Sealer. That was by far the best haul that they've ever got. Okay, matching up with stuff was a good idea. This match up against Zephyrus is better. It's gonna match it up with the Swapple. Alrighty, watch his attack. No risk. It never fades away. It's staying in. You're just like broken glass. Zephyrus. That works. That's the bench. Excellent. I mean, it's good, but I can still send it to the bench if I manage to land the wave arms, which I do. Good. That's so totally fine. I'm gonna try to get their evolved magic card. Should be possible by now. Oh, it's gonna land the kind of card. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. We'll try again. We'll just try again. Actually, we're gonna take the entry point first. That's probably more important. We need to have that entry point. And now we're gonna max fight stuff when I have the Zapdos. Just, just good matchup, man. Good matchups. Here we go. Even the 40 would have done it. Right? Yep, that would have went to a 11 attack. So that would have also died. Okay. This guy's at 21. We can possibly knock him out. I know he has Cotton Guard, so we need to win two rolls. Yeah, we'll still do 15 and build absolutely zero. This one deals three, three damage, and fifteen beats that. He's gonna attack me here. Uh, he's gonna knock me out here because it's just over. Oh, just both kind of goes to the bench. Okay, fine. I'm um, doing that. That's fine, running. That doesn't work, I think. Ooh. Ooh, that actually sucks. And we don't have Max Revive anymore. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's not really good. That is really, really bad. Can we just please get Gyarados in here to save the day? Can we? Yes, we can. Gyarados coming in. Gyarados coming in. Oh, 
Okay. If we can get a storm here, which we're probably not gonna get, but that would be really, really good. Hyper Beam, that works for me. That works, but he gets to go again. Okay. Yeah, let's put enough the stuff here. I think we beat Swabu. I think we do. Okay, Thunder Charge is good. I'll just attach Wing Fear right now, just for the lol. So we can try to go for a double kill here next turn. Actually, we cannot pop over the Swabu. That was really. <laughs> he falls. He actually thought I can move over the Swabu. And so did I. But we were both wrong. We cannot hop over a Swabu with a Winged Fear Gyarados because they're flying types. Oh man. Okay, Storm works. Do I go for the Narco? I do go for the Narco. This is risky. I can land miss here. But actually, he does zero damage, as you guys can see. So even if I land a miss, that would not have still knock me out. So actually, that was zero risk. So now we're both at two Swabus. And I do like that. Can we get Storm here? Uh, we have a double chance, so we're gonna use that double chance. Trying to get Storm. Storm away that magic card, please. I'll try again. I'll just try. I'll just try. There we go. That works. He's not gonna evolve to Gyarados just yet. What is he gonna do? I'm interested to see. He's gonna attack my stuff. Alright. Come on, I wanted the double flow there. But that's gonna knock me off. Damn it. He will go to the bench still, but. I mean, I can get my Swablu back easier now. That's good. Let's see if we can knock this guy out. And I think we do. Yes, we do. 80 to 20. We do. He does not have another 3 MP, so. He's probably gonna block the goal first and then tap with Stuffle if needed. We do still have Bright Power, so we're definitely gonna make use of that. And then we just need to survive. Oh, he's gonna go for XP right now, actually. He could have waited. I can still get Storm on the other wide attack. So it's risky. It's risky. And I can also get the 120 on Flail, but I'm not sure if that's a knockout. Please. Oh, of course. Of course. Of course the XP just works out how he wants it to work out. Let's just activate this Thunder Charge. Get rid of the foil there. That's nice. I think Magic Up will come on the field. Yes it does. Let's come up with the Swablu. We could attack with Zapdos. I think we can knock him out actually. If you land Thunder, Thunder Crash, I think we can. 75, 65, I think we were able to knock him out. Let's be honest. Mm, no, I don't want to do that. Let's just go here first and then do it. Because we do have a Bright Powder. So we can try it. Okay, that's actually fine. I'm gonna go over and actually attack this stuff. See what we can do. That's fine. That's fine. Ooh, okay. I definitely get it. Wait, is this guy running hurdle jump? I didn't even check. Nope, he isn't. Good. Because otherwise I might have been in trouble. Uh, I don't know why you did that, my friend. I don't know why you did that. Because you need to evolve him first. You can proc against that, though. That's what you can do. You're not gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna take this entry point. Slowly pushing. Slowly pushing. 
98 turns left. Double chance from Zapdos into Swablu. Yep, exactly. If I knock this guy out, I can take the entry point. That will be really good. I think we actually do knock him out. <laughs> this is crazy. Look at this. Swablu knocking out a Zapdos right there. Come on. There we go. Swablu knocking out a Zapdos right there. That is just just one of the best examples of how stupidly designed the Swablu decks are. Like, I think they didn't even thought about it, but that's just me. Maybe they did. Maybe just one uncommon power creeps to become meta. Oh, this is good, because once he procs the Gyarados, I can activate the Thunder Charge. So I just need to make sure I don't attack him by myself. So let's just put the Swap Loose there. So let them be in range. Does he go for the entry points if we need to? Okay. Yeah, now we can proc. Okay. Now we can actually proc. And this Gyarados is scary. It is scary. I'm gonna use Bright Powder to try to knock out this this damn Swablu. Because I have three Swablus on the field and he only has two. So we could. Cotton Guard. He spin the perfect roll for me, but this time I didn't get the roll, but Cotton Guard is fine, as long as he doesn't get the storm, I can surround him. So he needs to attack either my other swap and get storm, or try to knock out this one. There's no other option. Double chance to go for the storm, alright. Don't tell me he's gonna get storm. Okay, dodge. That's actually really good because let's see if he goes for the double chance just for the lols. Okay, I wanted to know if he actually got storm there, but I guess we don't get to know. So I think this will be it. This will be it for sure. This will be it for sure. Yep. Forfeit win. All right. So I'm gonna end right here. What do you guys actually think? Of this deck with the Winged Sphere Gyarados, do you think I just got lucky, or do you think this deck actually has potential? Maybe even in League, if you actually run some other figures with it, like some more EXs, if you want to wear it as well. Maybe, let me know. Maybe one, three Altarius as evolutions. Maybe some Mega Altarius. Let me know. I don't have Mega Altarius, so I cannot try that out. But maybe you guys can. So I'm gonna end the video right here. Maybe I have some time boosters that I can open. Otherwise, I'll just end it. Do some daily but not in it right now. So I'm gonna be grinding the hall a little bit more until I am pretty sure I get the top 100. So that's gonna be it for today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what deck you are running in the Ruby Hall. And if you guys have any other suggestions for me to make videos about. And see you till Tuesday. I'll probably be streaming like Tuesday evening. Maybe Monday I'll, I'll upload another video, but not with my reaction with it, because I recorded that earlier. And it's actually a file that got, that got corrupted, but it was on Future Duel, like, one hour after the file got corrupted, so I just recorded instantly, so it's put out my reaction, but it's still a really good match featuring one and only Mega Sableye. That's not Mega Sableye. Sorry, Lunala, this is not your spotlight. There we go. So. That's gonna be featuring Mega Save Line. I don't know when the video will go up, but I already recorded it. So, when I don't feel lazy enough to actually upload it, I will upload it. And I have to study for exams because I have like, tomorrow is my first exam, it's gonna be physics. Not that hard of a subject, but the subject will get harder later on. Like, Dutch and biology will be my biggest concerns, but my grades now are pretty good, so I'm not really worried. Things can go wrong, but I don't really see it coming. So thank you guys for tuning into this video and if you like the video give it a massive thumbs up and hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Peace out.